have water goals to meet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha. On this channel, I talk about plants. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about my Peperomia collection, uh, share with you what kind of Peperomias I have and how I take care of them. Alrighty, so let's just get right into it. My first one here, I've showed you, if you follow my Instagram, you follow my YouTube, I've talked about it a couple times. This is my Peperomia Pink Lady. I'm just going to go through the ones I have, then we'll do some care tips, and then we'll finish up. This is my Peperomia obtusifolia, the variegated kind. Some of these I know the scientific names, sometimes some of them I don't. This one is a Peperomia, but I can't remember actually which Peperomia it is, but I will include it down below. This is a Peperomia prostrata, or string of turtles. This is a felt leaf peperomia. It's got these really cool like, circle leaves, and they are super, they do feel just like felt. And I've got this peperomia ripple, just this tiny one. I've got a peperomia, this is like a the trailing watermelon peperomia. Super cool. And then this is one of my Peperomia beetle. I actually got, I got one from Lowe's and I ended up splitting it into like four plants. And then this is my Peperomia ruby cascade. Super cute. Love that plant. Just hangs in the window. And it, it grows so much. Oh, and this is, I'm glad I saw this. This is a little one, but this little rat tail thing, I don't know if you can see that, is what a Peperomia flower looks like. Definitely my least favorite part of Peperomias. Oh, here's a bigger one. If you can see that, I don't know. Oh, I just broke a leaf off. Yeah, so, yeah, they look like little rat tails. Definitely my least favorite part of peperomias. Peperomias are probably like my favorite plants, but their blooms are definitely my least favorite. Okay, so that's all the peperomias that I have, I believe. And they, I love them so much, A, because like you can see, there's so many different kinds and they are, in my opinion, so easy to care for. Um, you just put them in some bright, indirect light I know that's what they say for everything but I have mine some of them in a west facing window and two of them in a north facing window so obviously it's not people's favorite methods of light and they do really well um, my ruby cascade has doubled in size since I've gotten it everything else does super fine it hasn't quite doubled in they haven't quite doubled in size yet but they are all doing doing well and they're happy in their place most of them have like succulent style leaves so they hold water really well so you definitely should let them dry out in between watering uh, so you don't give them root rot the propagation is pretty easy i have not propagated any of my peperomias yet i'm still looking into the propagation of them but i know from what i've seen you can use, you can do it by stem you can do it by leaf um, so i think some of them have like nodes so you can do it like that um, but I'm going to try, I have a couple of them attempting in water, and so I will let you guys know how that goes. So, um, let me know if you have any questions, leave any comments down below, any tips or tricks that you have about your peperomia. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe down below if you want to see more, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye! <music>